Hello, good evening. Hi, anybody? Hi, hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. I cannot hear you, Holman. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I I am. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, yes. Oh well, I am very tired. Really? But, yes, but I am okay. Okay, okay, that's good. This camera is not working. Uh, uh, all right, all right. It's good to it's good to have you here again, Holman. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure. I only have two people. Antonio, hello. Good evening, Antonio. Good evening, how are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Yes, I'm ready. Ah, okay, teacher. Excellent. Little, probably a little a little tired, but you know it's normal. It's normal. I think it's normal. Yes. What about you? How were you? How was your day? Hey, was a little easy, but I I have headache. You have what? Sorry. I have headache. Oh, headache. I don't know how do you oh, say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, it's headache. 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 Okay. Thank you, teacher. Is that uh, the word? The word. It's a verb. Okay. In for the chat. It is H over there, but it's not H, it's ache, ache, ache. And ache, ache means hurt. Okay, what is it? Okay. You know what hurt is? Hurt. Hurt. Uh huh, hurt. Hurt. It's a synonym, a synonym for, for, for hurt. hurt. Okay. Hurt. My okay. If you if you if you check the chat, you're gonna see my butt my body hurts and my body aches. Both are correct. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, excellent, excellent. I'm sorry, Antonio. You should take a, a medicine or a pill or something to, to relieve you know, the pain. Yes, teacher. Uh, few minutes, few minutes ago, I drank a, a pill. Ah, okay, okay. You took a pill. That's that's good. That's good. That's fantastic. Yes, I'm happy. All right, all right, excellent. <laughs> okay. Hi, Fatima. Yeah. Isabel, hello, Adriana, Christian. Gabriel. How are you guys? Happy, sad, Woo. normal. <laughs> A little sad. I'm about to sneeze. Sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Sorry for sneezing. Sneeze in the chat. Sneeze is the action of, <coughs> right? Estornudar. Exactly. Sneeze. Sneeze. All right. Fatima, how are you today? Good. Good. Because I saw you yesterday. Yesterday, no, right? No. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, because you look happy now with your smile and everything. But yesterday, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Lucy, hello. Thank you for being here, Pamela. Welcome. Hello. All right. All right. Yes, uh, I haven't seen I haven't seen my cell phone. I don't know if you guys have sent messages to the group uh, because my cell phone has low battery right now and it's charging. I haven't checked it. So if you guys are not available for the moment, please let me know through the chat over here in Zoom. Okay. Yes. I know you're working. It's the beginning of the month, or you, maybe you are still working with the, the end of the uh, the end of the month tasks. We don't know. Okay, but it's good to have you here again. Guys, uh, thank you, thank you everybody for being here. 
well, not everybody is here, but most of you are here and it's good. It's good. It's almost Friday, people. No, right? It's not Friday. It's... <laughs> okay, Friday is, is far away, you know. We need to wait a lot for Friday. Yes. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Have you gotten, have you gotten the, 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 the email about the survey information? No? Yes, teacher. You have? Okay, thank you for, for letting me know. Okay, yes. Remember that we don't do the survey? Yes? I don't have, teacher. We don't have it, don't worry, don't worry. You might get it tomorrow, okay? Yes. yes. If, Fatima, if you don't get the, the information tomorrow, let me know, please. Hello, okay. teacher. Hi, Christian. I don't have the survey. You don't have it yet? Okay, don't worry, don't worry, okay? Guys, don't yeah. worry. You might, you might get it tomorrow, okay? You might get it tomorrow. Oh, you will get it tomorrow. Okay, very good, very good. In, yes. in WhatsApp group, Roberto said that he, he had fever in his score. Oh. Okay, okay, Roberto, uh, right. Carlos, yes. yes. Roberto Carlos and oh. Adriana Turcios are going to be as a listener. Okay, thank you, thank you. Fantastic, yes. In the world. Very good, very good. Thank you for letting me know. All right, all right, now I know, yes. People, do you think it's difficult to work at night or in the evening, the night shift? No? Yes? For me, yes, teacher. Difficult or easy? Difficult. Okay. Why? It's easy. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, I know I work. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. I but, get sick when I, I get sick when I work at night. I get sick. What What do you get? Stress? Um, uh, yes. And I, I can't sleep during the day. Okay. All right. All right. I understand. I understand. Well, in my case, I don't really, I don't really get uh, uh, that tired because I work at night, but not the whole night. It's like uh, the young night. Eight, nine, and ten is okay. still young. Maybe, maybe until the middle night. I'm sorry. Until the middle night. You oh are... yeah, that would be that would be more difficult. That would be more difficult. Okay, teacher. Really difficult. Okay, people, we have a lot to do today. We got to cover. We have to cover some uh, activities, some tasks in the book, and we have to continue practicing. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are almost done. We just have uh, this class, tomorrow's class, and Friday's class, and then we will be done. Yes. Okay. Let's let's start, or let me start by taking attendance. Ooh. But but this is wrong. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's frozen. Give me a moment. I'm trying to load this, but it won't work. Google Chrome. Oh, by the way, do you see that you see the, the how the planets lined to each other? I'm not sure it was yesterday or today that the, the Saturn and Jupiter they were next to each other. Yes, the planets. No, you didn't see that. Yes, yes teacher, I, 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 I see. 
beautiful, right? It's beautiful. You, you can see these two planets and they are super, super far away. Yeah. All right. Let me start Ariana Turcios, Maria Turcios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Present teacher. Christopher Spiti Chipawa. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Yes. Hector Francisco Morales. Isabel Hernández Hernández. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino is not here. Holman Saul Sanchez. Present. Yes, thank you, thank you. Laura has been for Tio Andres. We don't know what happened. Laura has been skipping classes a lot. Let me see. The last time she was here was last week. This Wednesday. Now this is frozen again. The moment this thing is frozen uh, working now yes okay lucy natalie juarez de ramirez magdaleno escalante yes. yes magdaleno escalante orantes present teacher hey you are here yeah, see you there yes i'm here <laughs> Google Chrome, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, it's stupid slow. Okay, Lucy. Oh, that's why. I opened something that I don't really know about. What happened here? Microsoft Age. That's a good case. It's a Microsoft Age. Age. All right, Lucy and, and, and Michael. I know. Okay, Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Yes. Thank you, Nelson. Oscar Armando Romero. Not here. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos Hernandez. And Rosalina Alvarado. Very good, very good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Rosa, for letting me know through the chats. Well, Oscar too. Yes, Oscar is there too. Let me update it. Yes, it has to be Google. It's super slow. Don't really understand why. <laughs> Technology. Yeah, apparently I'm, I'm opening some windows here that I don't know about. Oscar, thank you, and Rosalina. Yes. Got it, got it. All right. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna share the book with you guys. Excuse me, no, I'm gonna share with you the presentation. Please let me know when you get to see the presentation. I'm sharing it, uh, but I don't think you can see it yet. There you go. Guys, do you see the presentation? Yes, I saw. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Good, good. Okay. I don't see anything yet. I just see a dark screen over here. OK. 
Okay, now it's ready. Oh, guys, today we start the new month, new month, March, March the 1st. Okay, so welcome to the month or to this month. We're going to review this passive voice. Okay, uh, yesterday we were talking about this grammar topic that is very, very important when you want to emphasize or uh, yeah, pretty much highlight the, the, the action, okay? Yes, but let's, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Look, we got a definition, we got some examples. We use passive voice to emphasize, okay? Or to pay more attention to something, to emphasize on action, okay? We care about the action. When we use passive voice in present perfect, excuse me, in simple present, present perfect, present progressive, et cetera, in all the tenses that we use passive voice with, we can, we can uh, say that passive voice emphasizes on the action and not the person. Okay, look, and not the performer or doer. Performer means the person or the subject, yes. Let's take a look at passive voice with the present perfect. Remember, with passive voice, we are focusing on or concentrating on the action, okay? Not the person, yes. Active voice example, look, Mauricio has received the stationary. The emphasis is, is on Mauricio. Or over here in this sentence, we're talking about Mauricio, right? Or the important thing here is Mauricio, the subject. Mauricio has received the stationery. What is a stationery, guys? Stationery. Very formal word. It's about office. The office. Yes. Do you know? Any ideas? No? Okay. Stationery is paper. Paper. Okay. Paper such as, such as envelopes. Envelopes, invoices, facturas, uh, sobres, okay, like, uh, oh, pretty much office paper, okay, that is stationary, office paper. Let's continue with the other example, which is the passive one. Look, the stationary has been received. The stationary has been received, yes. The emphasis is not on the stationary, the emphasis is on the action, the action is received. So we use passive voice to concentrate or to pay attention to the action. Look, the emphasis is on the action, not on the subject, yes. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions about this? Let me tell you what, what, what is R in Spanish. Mauricio ha recibido la papelería, okay? Oh, la papelería ha sido recibida. Okay, that's how they go. That's how they go. Let's take a look at more examples and then we will practice a little bit. Yes, another one. Look. Hello, Pamela. <laughs> look at this example. Pamela has not finished her tasks. Okay. Oh, negative, negative. Look, Pamela has not finished her tasks. This is the active voice. We are paying attention to Pamela or we're emphasizing on Pamela. The passive voice emphasizes on the action. The action is finished, okay? Her tasks haven't been finished, okay? Why haven't? We have has over here. Oh, because has, we have Pamela. Pamela is she. And over here is plural, tasks, okay? They. So her tasks, ha tasks have been finished. Pamela no ha terminado o concluido sus actividades o sus uh, responsabilidades, tareas, whatever you want to call it in the, in the, in the company. And then it says, su, su, sus tareas no han sido realizadas aún. You can use yet, you can use yet, but yet is optional. That's why I put it in parentheses. Okay, you can uh, include it if you want to. Another example, the analysts have brought enough evidence. The analysts have brought enough evidence. Okay, yes. In the, in the first example, uh, we are emphasizing on the analyst, the people, okay, that they brought. 
they brought the evidence. In the passive voice, we're emphasizing on the action. Enough evidence has been brought, okay? Enough evidence have, has been uh, brought. Another example, but look at this one. This one doesn't have the passive example. You're gonna give it to me. It says, Antonio has forwarded the emails. Antonio has forwarded the emails. What is forwarded? Guys, do you know what forwarded is? No? Like the same? I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Christian or maybe reenviar, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's like resend. Resend. In this case, it would be resend in the past participle form. Antonio has resent the emails. Antonio has forwarded the emails. Uh, can you please try to give me the passive sentence or the passive voice example? I'm going to write it down. Yes. Anybody? The, the, the emails has been forwarded. Okay. The emails have or has. Has. No, oh, it's emails, plural. Have. It's have. Is. No, have, have, have. The emails have been forwarded. Forwarded. All right, look, there you go. The emails have been forwarded. Antonio ha enviado los correos o reenviado los correos, sorry. Los correos han sido reenviados. Yes. Okay. That's how they go. Okay. Another one. I did a Caleb, another one. Here, Holman has not proven his theory. Holman has not proven his theory. How would you make this sentence in, into the passive voice? Can you tell me? Could be his theory, his uh -huh. theory. Uh, has uh, has not proven. Has not. Don't forget the auxiliary. Don't forget the auxiliary. The auxiliary in this case is B. <clears throat> has not been. Has not been proved. Okay, there you proven. go. Proven. His theory. His theory has not been proven. The active sentence says, "Holman no ha probado." Okay. How is it proven in Spanish? It's probar, but, but it's, it's different. Experimentado, no, 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 no. What was the word in Spanish? People, help me. What's the word in Spanish? It's, uh, it's probado, but it sounds very bad. Okay, let's stay with that one. Como no ha probado su teoría, okay. Su teoría no ha sido probada. That's how it is. Okay, very good. Another one, well, we don't have more. Look, we got some examples here for that I need you, I need you to put these ones into the passive voice. They are in the active voice. You're going to put them in the passive voice. It's simple, okay? Yes, let's start. I'm going to give you two minutes, two or three to finish this, okay? Oh, you know what? No, let's do it right now, Fatima. Read the first one and give me your passive sentence. Nervi users have nearby. Nearby, nearby. user uh -huh. have polluted. Uh, polluted. Polluted the river. Okay. All right. Give me the passive sentence. Mm. Is it active? I need the passive. Or do you want me to give you some minutes, people? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to give you two. Two minutes. Two minutes. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, 
polluted contamination, contamination, but contaminar in this case. In this case. Uh, let me see. Yeah, only that one. I'm gonna uh, clean national places before I do. Okay. Only that one. Yeah, that's the one. Pollution. All right, that's a start. Padima, yes. <laughs> the first one, the first one. Read, read the same example and then give me the passive one. The river have been polluted? No. Okay. Just one thing, one. one uh, tiny problem there you said the river the river yes have been polluted yes and no <laughs> remember when you're talking exception with the exception of i we're talking about a third person she he or it singular things we use has the river has been polluted all right very good. The second one, uh, Pamela, do you have the second one? Read the example and give me the passive sentence. Okay, teacher, the number two is the reporters have shared the article. Mm -hmm. mm, passive voice is the article has been shared. Has, all right, has been shared. Okay, the article has been shared. Excellent, thank you very much for sharing. Let me see, Antonio, can you read the other one, please? Number three, thank you. The organizations have cleaned natural places. Passive? Natural. Natural places have been cleaned. There you go. The organizations have cleaned national places or national places have been cleaned. Okay. The last one, let me see. Okay, Antonio. No, no, no. Oh my, go ahead. <laughs> Roman, read the example and give me your passive sentence. Um, Mauricio explained the topic. Um, the topic. Mm -hmm. no, no. The topic has been. Has been uh-huh explained explained i uh, have explained the... okay yes the topic has been explained all right all right that's how it goes very very good now let's continue here there's one more there's one more thing uh to mention about passive voice 
with the present perfect. Before we go, we go uh, to another part over here. I would like to ask you, do you have any questions about passive voice with present perfect? Yes, teacher, yes. natural places don't be has. No, because it's places, plural. Yes, places is plural, lugares, yes. yes. In that case is have, have is okay. In the first one, in the first two, in the first two, no, because river is only one, one river. Article, only one article. Natural places, plural. The topic, only one, okay? See, has, 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 and have for plural, okay? Okay, thank you. So, so basically, when you're talking about she, he, Animals in the singular form, we use has. Okay. Do you have more questions? Guys, do you have more questions? No. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Let me stop sharing here and I'm going to share the book with you. Okay, look, we are here again. We are here again on page number, on page number 35, okay? Here, we're gonna go to page number 36. On page number 36, excuse me, 37. On page number 37, you're going to see number six or part number six. In part number six, you are going to read, look, it says read the following paragraph and underline the passive voice sentences, okay? Guys, go ahead, one minute, one minute. Read the information and in your books, underline the passive voice sentences, please, one minute. And let me know when you finish, okay? Teacher, I I found just one, just the first one. All right. No. I have many tools, just that, because the other one is have a subject, have a subject. For example, he he has been interested. No, I, we and do, the other we do. one. We do use subjects, we use subjects. The thing is that in the passive voice, uh, the subject is not really important, okay? The emphasis is in the action, but we do have a subject. Uh-huh, it's for that, actually, the, 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 unit, the, the, the one who is in passive voices, many tools have been in disorganized, or oh, no? That's one. Yes. Yeah. That is one. One of them. Okay. okay. Uh, I think you guys got it. I think you got it, right? I'm going to read and you please let me know when you see the sample. It says many tools have been left disorganized all over some uh, working areas. Do you think this is a passive voice sentence or example? Yes, teacher. We have the structure here, have been left, yes. Have been left, yes. It is an example, okay? This word is not a verb, it's an adjective, okay? It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. What about this example? It seems like the new 
sorry, it seems the like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. Do you see a passive voice example in, in this one? Yes. Yes, okay. Has not been informed is the passive voice example, yes. Okay, the manager has not been informed, right? About the new safety measures. I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Do you see an example here? Passive voice? Yes, teacher. You think so? No. Why not? Because if he, if he has, he has is the subject or no? No. Listen to this. We can use subjects. Yes, we use subjects. But the thing is that uh, the subject is not very relevant. In passive voice, the subject is not relevant, all right? Or it's not very relevant. What is relevant in the, in the passive voice is the action, okay? We are paying attention to the action, not the person. The person is not really, really important, but we need the person. But here, no, we don't have an, exam an example here because we have interested is not a verb, okay? No es un verbo. Interesado es un adjetivo. So, no, okay? In this one, no. Doesn't work. Hopefully, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. What about here? What about the last sentence? Yes, Magdaleno? Hi. Teacher, I have a doubt with that. It's not clear for me. Uh, actually, actually, you said what the uh, passive voice is when, when the subject is not relevant, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, in this case, you have a subject, the yes. safety manager, is right? Yes. Okay, the safety manager has not been informed. In this case, the safety manager has not been informed. Mm -hmm. I, in, in this case, you have a, a subject. The subject is the safety manager. Yes. And the passive voice is, is without... Uh, without a, a subject, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Oh, okay, okay. We we do have a subject, we do have a subject. Hold on, let me go back here. Look, here. Look at this example. <clears throat> is that, the thing is that in the active voice, we have the subject. And the subject here is Mauricio. Look, Mauricio is here. In the passive voice example, we, in, we don't include Mauricio because it's not important, okay? But look, the point here is the stationary has been received. The emphasis is not on the action. Sorry, the emphasis is on the action. The action is has been received, okay? Se ha recibido, okay? Se ha recibido, es el, ahí tenemos el emphasis. The subject is the stationary, yes. But the subject, the subject in this case, uh, we're using passive voice. When we use passive voice, our emphasis is on the action and not on the subject. But we have the subject. Yes, the subject is the stationary, which originally was the, the object. Okay. Yes, that's how it goes. But we have uh, we have a, a subject. But hold on, I'm going to try to make this more understandable and easier to understand. Let's go to the book and let me see this example with the manager. The active, the active sentence would be this. Pongamos esa oración activo. La oración dice, uh, it seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. Active voice would go like this. The safety manager about the safety 
Okay. Go to the chat. It is there. Uh, well, it's negative, right? Negative, negative. That's not. Dice, el jefe no, no le ha informado al gerente acerca de los, las medidas de seguridad. Right? This is the active sentence. The passive will be the manager has not been informed. No se le ha informado al, al gerente. Okay? Yes. But the manager is the, is this the subject. We have subjects, but the subjects are not really relevant in passive voice. So let's continue down here with this one. Hopefully the new, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by, by the book. Do you find or do you see a, a passive sentence here? Guys, do you see a passive sentence here? Yes, no, no. Yes, you can. Have, have been taught. Yes. Have been taught is the passive structure. So, yes, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules is the, the passive sentence. Okay. Active would be, active would be the company... Again, manager has taught you employees to follow rules. Okay. El gerente de la compañía ha instruido a los nuevos uh, empleados a seguir las reglas. Okay. Acá abajo dice los empleados han sido instruidos. Okay. A seguir las reglas. Yes. Okay. Excellent, people. Very good. Very good. We're going to continue here. Look. On page, on page number 38, you're going to find this. We continue talking about assessing risk. Okay. Remember, assessing means evaluating. Okay. The same as evaluating. Today, I will be able to discuss the effects of risks and hazards on the business operation. I will be able to discuss the effects of risks and hazards on the business operation. We have two questions over here, easy questions. Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? People, look at the, look at the question. Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? What can you say about this question? What is your opinion about this question? What is lack? Do you remember the, the word lack? It means deficit, a deficit. Yes. Or uh, where the company is weak, where the company is weak. So it says here, would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? Yes. Anybody, hello. Hello. Okay, let me shoot people directly then. Let me see. Antonio, what do you think about this? <clears throat> okay. Or guys, you understand? I think is a is a a lack lack mm -hmm. of safety uh, to put the 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 business in in danger. Okay, it could, because it can can be secondary effect effect of secondary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Side effects would be put here. 
in the chat side Only effects. That. Side effects. Okay, thank you, teacher. Side effects, okay, secondary, but it's not secondary, it's side. All right, very good. Uh, what can you say about what can you say about this, Fatima? What can you tell us about this? I don't know, it's lack. Lack, deficit. A deficit. Falta. Mm. Un deficit o falta. Yes, that's what it is. Oh. Um. Yes, because the measures of the measures safety, the safety, create, measure. safety. The safety measure is create for um for protect the people to protect protect to protect to protect to protect the people the personal when when is the is b mm -hmm. the operate operation okay right yes yes fantastic fantastic okay very good one more one more person and then we continue down there let me see pamela what do you think about this or what can you tell us about this Mm, yes, teacher. I think that if 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 an operation has a lack of safety measures, um, imagine that is a line of production of some product. Um, I think something something can can go wrong um, and, and can occur an accident. Um, how do you say tener perdidas? Perdida de have dinero. lost. Uh -huh. Have money lost. I have losses. Um, money lost. If the, money lost, yes. Uh, if the product um don't have the the quality and the employees don't um don't um attend the safety measures okay don't okay okay don't follow the safety measures okay okay very good opinions from fatima from pamela and from who's the other one ah from antonio yes thank you guys thank you for your participation it is here. What could be some effects of? I think of is not is is just it's not necessary. What could be? It is what could be some effects. But let's let's ignore that part over here because that question is is not. It says Gladys and Miguel have just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety mission manual. Now. They, they are talking about a competitor at the at the eye of the storm. In the eye, in the eye, not at the eye. In the eye. In the eye of the storm. Guys, what is in the eye of the storm or at the eye of the storm? It's an idiom at the eye of the storm. It means that this yes. In the middle. Yes. Okay, in this case is this competitor that is having problems, probably problems. Yes, okay, very good. Now let's continue with Gladys and Miguel. It says, it says here, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Heavy, okay, it says heave over here. It's not heave. Heavy, heavy, heavy machin machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, 
let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary, guys? No? Let's review it. What is I couldn't agree more? I couldn't agree more? In Spanish. Yes, yes, yes. No puedo estar más de acuerdo. Okay, okay, there you go, there you go. What is sue? Sue or sued, in this case is sue. What is it, sue? It's not good, right? <laughs> sue means demandar. Well, in this case, es han sido, o fueron, fueron demandados, okay, yes. Okay, that is sued. Let me see, let me see. Here is not heave, all right? It's, it's heavy, the adjective is heavy. That's a finger, finger mistake there. Let me see. Let alone bad publicity. What is that? Or how do you say that? Or how would you say this? Let alone bad publicity. What is it? Or what do you what do you understand? The arma la publicidad. Uh -huh. A un lado, right? Yes. A un lado. Uh -huh. yes. yeah. o como, it's like saying, ignorando la publicidad, la mala publicidad. Okay. Yes. That's how it goes. Okay. Another one would be like, uh, it's like saying this, putting. Okay, like aside a un lado, okay. Let's continue. Oh, the word loss, loss perdida, okay. That's what it is, loss. Let me see, relieved, what is relieved? Relieved, good, right? You feel good, you feel uh, relaxed, happy calm that's what it is okay now very good very good we're going to continue guys here we're going to continue i would like to have some uh some of you to practice the conversation but we're going to do that right here right here okay with everybody let me do that let me share it again. I'm going to choose two people and we're going to practice it, all right? Let me start with the sisters. Sisters, go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Pamela, Fatima. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> I will start. Um, I'm, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued. Sued. Because, sued. sued. Yes, sued. Sued because of an employee dial when manipulating heavy machinery. Heavy. Huh? Yes. Oh my, that's such bad news bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, 
a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Financial, eventually, eventually, financial loss. Eventually, financial loss. Finan, finan, financial. Financial. Right? Financial. Financial. Yes. Um, to totally. I'm so re relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Very good. Can you please switch roles? Go. So, Fatima, start. I'm glad we are over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of the one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy man but machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. As much as possible. Very good, very good. Thank you very much for, for participating. What is because people, because Or what is because of, because of. No? Is a, a, a causa, a causa de. Debido a. Because of means debido a. Similar or the same as do to. Okay, do to is the same because of the reason why I am uh, telling you about this is that all of this not necessary. You can say they were sued because an employee died, right? Okay, fueron este demandados porque un, un empleado murió. Okay, or fueron demandados debido a que un empleado murió. Yes, okay, you can, you can remove off or leave it there if you want. So because of the video up, okay? Yes. That's what it is. The same as do too. Okay. Very good. Now, before we continue, questions about this? No. Okay then. Teacher. Yes. I just have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what word is more formal? Uh, because of or a do too? I would say do too. Both are correct. That means both are, 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 are correct. Yeah. But I don't see I don't see do too very often. I see because of more often. So basically people use because of more more than, than do too. Yes. But I think both are are uh, are equal formal. I mean it's the same thing. Equally formal. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Or no, help us, Antonio. Antonio, you help us with. Uh, let me see. Christian, are you there? Yes. 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 Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I start. Yes. Go ahead. I'm glad we are over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Presently, I watch 
some news about one of our competitors. They were swelled because of an employee's diet when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news. Bad news. That, uh, see, so, sorry, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. And a chain of negative effect might, might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I so really we are done with the safely measured manual. Now we want to plan its implementation. Uh, to reduce accidents as much as possible. Switch roles, please. I'm glad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me help you here with this. Uh, recently, recently, all right? Recently. Recently. Recently, this one. The other one, sued. Sued. With sued. Sue. Sue is the, the, the base form. Sued with D is the past form. Sued. All right. Oh, here. Manipu, manipu, manipulating. Manipulating. Manipulating, yes. Manipulating, sued. Uh, trust. 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 Yes. With organization, you have two options. You can say organization. I have heard many people saying organization. I say organization, both are correct. Okay, I say organization, you can say organization with no problems. Okay, here, eventually, eventually, right? Eventually, and the last one, you can say manual or manual, 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 okay? Manual or manual, new, new, okay. manual, yes. Now, yes, Antonio and Christian, continue, please. Okay, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process in the safety image of minor. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, the, the long bad publicity and a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Lots of customers, lots of trust in the organization and eventually final financial loss. Totally, I'm so rarely well we're done with the safety measure manual now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Relieved, okay, relieved. Relieved. Yes, okay. Antonio, Christian, thank you very much. Excellent, very good, very good. Uh, Isabel, can you help us? Isabel and Holman, please. Uh, hi. Hi. Okay, uh, Isabel, is not, Isabel is not there. Wait, Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Ivan is not, is not there. Lucy, are you available? Hello, teacher. Hi, are you available? Yes. Okay, can you help us please with I'm Gladys. Yes, Gladys, go ahead. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I, I, I could agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. 
They were sued because of an employee died when manipul manipulating manipulating he, manipulating he, heavy heavy not he heavy ah heavy heavy see heavy machinery oh my that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company yeah a let alone bad publicity a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organi organization, and eventually fi fi finance, finance. Financial. Finance, financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as, much as possible. Can you switch roles, please? Holman, you're Miguel, Natalie, you are, sorry, Holman is Gladys and Natalie is Miguel. Okay. <clears throat> and Glenn, we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual measures i couldn't agree more recently i watched some news about one of our competitors they were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery oh my that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually finan financial loss. Totally. I am so relieved. We're done with the safety measures. 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 Measures manual. Now, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, as much as possible, relieved. This is relieved, all right? Uh, which one was the other one? Uh, measures, measures and implementation, all right? Uh, we have Magdalena over here, but Ivan is not there, Ivan. Again, Ivan or Isabel, hello. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, All right. Can anybody can anybody help Madalena, please? We need your help. Oh, okay. Isabel is back. Isabel, go ahead. I am uh, Gladys. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So sorry. Sorry, Isabel. Okay. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I could agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were should because of an employee died when manipulating health machinery. Oh my, that's that's sad bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, that's a lot bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of truth in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved. We're done with the safety measurement. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. All right. Switch roles, please. 
I am glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some, some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because, because of an employee died when manipulating health machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect, if, uh, a chain of negative effect might be on their way, lost the customer, lost the trust and the organization and eventually financial loss. Surely, I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Thank you everybody for your participation. Well done, well done. Okay, excellent. Oh, before I forget, the word, the word he does have a meaning. Well, actually it's a verb, even though in the context is incorrect because we need heavy, heavy machinery. But heave, heave is a verb. Heave means cool, a lot, all right? That's heave. Or, or even throw has two meanings, lanzar y alar, okay? Tirar, tirar, that's what it is. The, the correct word is heavy with, with in the Y in the end, is right? Exactly, in the context, yes, we need heavy, heavy machinery. But heave, the word heave, is, is a word, yes, it's a verb. It means throw, lanzar, or pull, or even how, you know the word how? I don't use this word very often, that one, oops. I don't use it very often. It means, it means drag, drag, arrastrar. Yes. Okay. Very good, very good. Thank you very much people for your participation. We are going to continue down here with part number three. In part number three, you have this. It says building vocabulary. Match the words and phrases that describe effects caused by hazards and risks to their definitions. We have six of them. Contamination, casualties, property damage, loss of customers, financial loss and business interruption. Guys, go ahead. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to finish this, okay? Put the number into the correct definition in the parentheses. One, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, well, six. Go ahead, two or three minutes. If you have questions about the vocabulary, let me know.
People, are you ready? No, yet. Okay, okay. Today I'm drinking, I'm drinking chocolate, tablilla. It's delicious, people. Too much coffee every day. I drink too much coffee. I changed today. Don't drink coffee, okay? So jealous. <laughs> Why? <laughs> chocolate, hot chocolate is very delicious. It is, yes. I'm enjoying it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good. Yes, so today, today I drank probably five cups of coffee during the day. I didn't, want, I didn't want to continue drinking more today. <laughs> yeah. I get tired. I get tired a lot. Yeah. Are you guys almost done? Almost to jump. Almost, okay, okay. You're done, you're done. Guys, here's a tip. If you have if you have TikTok, you know it's now in this this uh, new world. If you have TikTok, you should look for for uh, TikTokers that teach English. I follow some of them. They are really good. They teach really good. Yes, you should do that. The teacher, I follow somebody in, in Instagram. That's a lot of teacher, a lot of English teacher in Instagram. That's good too. That's good too. Yes. I follow a couple of them on TikTok. I, I will try to find their, their accounts and I will share them with you. I'm telling you because I follow them because they are really good. They are really good. Yes. I will see if I can share them with you. Oh, one of them is his name is Antonio. Like Antonio here? Yes. All right. I think everybody's ready. We're going to start. Uh, the first one, contamination. And uh, Magdaleno, can you please read the word and then read the definition? My pleasure. Contamination. Waste residues. What is the pronunciation of the word? I'll be residues. Residues. Okay. Waste. 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 Residues. Waste. waste residues that are handled improperly. Oh, it's, it's so difficult. Improperly, handled okay. improperly, scattered, scattered. Scattered, okay. Waste residues that are handled improperly scattered to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Okay, so for you that's contamination. Yeah, for me is that. Okay. Guys, do you agree with Magdaleno? I think casualties. Casualties? No. No. Casualties is people. Casualties is people that die. Oh. It's a person that, that loses his or her life at work. Okay. 
I agree with Magdaleno, teacher. Okay, you agree with him. Okay, okay, fantastic. Fatima, thank I you. Agree. Yes, okay, Grisel, thank you, thank you. Fatima, the second one. The casualties is um, employee dies in an accident operating a machine. Yes, operating. Okay. Employee dies, it says there, employee dies in an accident operating a machine. How do you say casualties in Spanish? Accidentes. Yeah, casual, no. People, can you help me? It's not accident. It's, it has muertes. Muertes? Como okay. baja. Se escucha muy feo decir muertes. Como baja. Ah, exactly, exactly. That one, that one, yes. Baja, okay. Yes, exactly. This word, this word casualty is very common in, uh, in the military terms. Oh, by the way, quick, quick. Uh, let's, let's talk about something else for a few minutes. Do you know the origin of the word okay? Do you know the origin, the origin of the word okay? Everybody says okay, but we don't know the origin of it. Do you know? No. It's, it's like back then with the militars, they used to write on the board zero, zero kills, like zero muertes. Like the, the zero became the O and the K, like put together, okay. <laughs> like zero kills. Yes. Okay. It's like we have, we have zero kills. Oh, we are okay. Yes. That's the origin of okay, zero kills. The second, no, the third one, Christian, help us please. Property damage. Okay, property damage. Okay, I select the production stops. Okay, the production stops or stops. Okay, property damage, the production stops. Let's choose that one. It's okay, we can choose it, we can change it later on. Uh, guys, do you agree with Christian? I am not. You don't agree? Okay. No, I am not. What is, what is your... Um, in my opinion is the first one. When the machines, when the machines are, when the machines are break out, machines are break out, break down, is uh, properly the mesh. Okay, all right, all right. Um, we, we can see that, we can, we can try that. Anybody else, oh, does anybody else have a different answer? I agree with Magdalene. You agree with him, okay? Yes. All right, all right. Okay, we can change it, we can change it and maybe later on we can, we can uh, well, let's leave it like that. All right, let's leave it like that and later on we can change it. Let's continue with the number four. Antonio, help us with number four, please. Okay, loss of customers. Loss, loss. Loss, loss hmm. of customers. Customer switch to another provider business. Okay, customers switch to another provider or business. Hey, that is really sad, right? When you have a customer, then you see this customer buying in a different, in a different place, it's sad. Yeah, that one is, 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 is good, it's good, okay. Let's continue with the next one. Lucy, can you help us with financial loss? Let me see. Um, the company loses money. Okay, the company loses money. It's the first, the second one, right? That will be financial. Yes. Yes, that one is good. That one is good. Okay. Next and the last one, business interruption. Guys, what is business? Anybody? Oh no, Pamela, go ahead. Business interruption is uh, when the production stops. 
okay? When the production stops. Let's erase this one, number three, okay? And let's write over here number six. Therefore, number three goes up here. Okay, that's the correct order. Yes. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Oh my gosh, allergy again. Okay, that's how it goes. That's how it goes, all right? Yes. People lost in number four, it's similar to the verb. The verb is lose. Loss is perdida, okay? No es perder, it's not, it's not perder, okay? So be careful, okay? Lose and loss. Lose, perder, and loss, perdida, okay? When a person dies, you can say, I am sorry for your loss, okay? I'm sorry for your loss. Siento la perdida, okay? You can say that. Very good, very good. Let's continue, guys. Down here with this one. Now, the, the same vocabulary, we're going to rank, we're going to rank the same vocabulary, rank the impacts of risks and hazards at the workplace from the least serious number six to the most serious number one. Discuss your rank with a partner. I'm gonna give you two minutes to do that. Let's do it individually. Rank them from the the the, the least one or serious one, number one to number six. Go, go. One. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. 
what will be the first one, guys? Tell me, all of you, tell me, what will be the first one? The, the most serious, What? which one? I think the casualties teacher. The okay, casualties is the first one, or the most serious. Uh -huh, the most serious. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely right. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. What about the second one, guys? Tell me. In my opinion, it's loss of trust in the organization. Okay. Loss of trust. Excuse me. <coughs> loss of trust in the organization. Okay. Do you agree with with Magdaleno? Yes or no? Okay, let's put number two over there. What about number three? What will be number three? Excuse me, number two, three. Yes, number three. Can you tell me about number three? Which one do you consider number three? Guys? I consider number four, teacher. Number four? Yes. Uh, number four is business interruption. This one, number four, number three? No, and, 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 and instead of number two. Oh, you think it's number four over here? Okay, but let's see number two right now. Which one do you think, Antonio, which one do you think is number three? I think it's loss, loss of customers, loss of customer. Loss of, loss of customers, yes. Loss of customers. Okay, what about number four, guys? You know, the, the order can vary. The order can vary depending on your, your way of, of thinking or your, your own perspective. It can be different. Mm -hmm. Number four? Probably this one, right? Uh, property damage. Let's, let's move on because we need to continue here. All right, number five and uh, well, both, all of them are serious people. All of them are very serious. In this one, we number five or six. Like I said, the number or it can vary depending on your way of thinking, okay? It can be different, yes. Let's continue, we need to continue. And we've talking, we've been talking about risks and uh, assessing them. Now, we're gonna go back to page number 37. On page number 37, we have the activity. The activity is this one. Look, group work. It says, choose one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lesson. Brainstorm ideas on how to prevent accidents related to that particular hazard. Design a poster featuring uh, three safety measures. Look, we got this. Attention, new safety measures to prevent false slips, trips. Uh, remember to store all the tools in proper location when not used. Keep all tools clean and in good working conditions. Wear all the safety gear eh, while you are in this area. What is gear? You know what gear is? Gear, no? It's like traje, right? Yes, the protection, that's what it is. Gear up, all right. So we're going to do something similar to this, but I will I will let you decide. I will let you decide the hazard. Okay, 
the hazard. Can you mention some hazards, people? Can you mention some hazards? Hello, can you mention some hazards? Electrical shock. Okay, that one, that one, yes. Okay, wet floor, in many places wet floor, or when uh, a place is uh, under construction, you know, like schools under construction, and many things. Okay, you're going to choose, you're going to choose the hazard, whatever hazard you wanna talk about, okay? And you're gonna share or tell me or mention three, three possible safety measures that you can uh, follow in order to prevent this, these accidents, okay? Let me make the groups. Like I said, we're going to do something similar to this. You can use Microsoft Word or, or uh, PowerPoint. I think my Microsoft Word will be more, more useful for this activity. Let me stop sharing and let me make the groups. Remember, only three is fine. Three. Three, 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 three. I'm going to make, make, make. Okay, I just created the groups. Please join them and work with your partner. If a person doesn't join, I will see what I can do. Okay, let's go. We have a couple of minutes to work on the activity. Remember, you can choose whatever hazard you want. Let's join the groups. Let's go, people. Teacher in yes. my group. Yeah, you're in a group. We are a lot of us. No. It's just you and uh in uh, another person. We have the the mm. Okay. Hello, somebody here. I'm here, I'm here, but this is not your group. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Let, let me, not this one, not that one. Okay, wait, wait, not that one. It's number four, it's number four. Okay. That one. Okay, what about the rest? I'm still waiting, people. Can you join the groups, please? Let me move people around. Isabel, hello.
Recording in progress. Hi, guys. Hello, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. I don't know, maybe Isabel is busy. I don't know. No, he's there. He's there. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? So I, I am thinking about topic or a You can think about anything, anything, Antonio. Like in the kitchen of a restaurant, uh, wet floor, construction places. Let me see. Uh, I'm still thinking. When you have events, a con prevent accidents. Okay, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. I don't know, maybe Isabel is busy. I don't know. No, he's there. He's there. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? So I, I am thinking about a topic or a answer. You can think about anything, anything, Antonio. Like in the kitchen of a restaurant, uh, wet floor, construction places. Let me see. Uh, I'm still thinking. When you have events, a concert, schools, like when, when there is a school near the street, you know, to prevent accidents. Okay, teacher. Yes. And we, I think we can do in case of fire yes she is one of the most one of the most critical hazards yes the previous list uh, maybe yes the, the the teacher says the we can choose the hazard and i think we can do it in case of um in case of fire what to do in case of fire that is perfect yes. hello teacher yes i'm here <laughs> don't worry <laughs> um so i have I have this one. Okay, one of the safety measures can be um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, for, for fire. You, you have to you have to know uh, how how uh, use the extinctor extinctor oh, it's very like, important mm -hmm, like um I don't know how do you say. You have to know. Uh, I don't remember. Some, something like, como dar mantenimiento a los extintores. Maintain. Maintain the extintors. Or how do you say? Fire, it? fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers. Okay. I think I don't, I don't know uh, in English. 
a capacitación. Training. Training. Training, yes. You, you, you have to, you have to. I'll be back. Yes. Hi, hi. Could you get that? Could you get us available to share our screen? Yeah. Thank you, teacher. You can do it. <laughs> okay, Fatima. Do you have the hazard? You have your hazard already? Yes, office hazard. Wow. You are a rock star. <laughs> Look at that, new safety measure. Measure. Uh, it, for, for office hazards, new safety measures for office hazards. Oh, <laughs> Mm. When outside is raining, and left, left your umbrellas in a specific place. Nice bus. Como la del libro, eh? Put. Put on. Put the tools in the specific place. Uh, yes, but in the in your office, you don't have tools. No, but for the for the umbrella in the office, I I um, como se dice gavetas, teacher. Gaveta, I como tengo que guardar en gavetas todo. Oh, escuché, escuché carretas. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, drawer. No, no, no. Drawer. 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 Chat. I say in drawer, everything where everything they use in the day. No, no stay in the escritor. So sorry. Okay, it's good. Uh, other could be um keeping order the wire of your equipment. Mm. ¿Qué otras cosas podría hacer? ¿Cuántas? Hazlas en tres, ¿verdad? How many? Uh, design a poster featuring three safety measures. Only three. three. So we can... Wow, brother, excellent. Uh, hi, teacher. Why, why are you learning the Spanish on the, the first one? Maintain and do a, a. How do you say it? Training. Oh, okay. Training. Like this. Maintain and 
train training. Mm, to use training to use the fire extinguishers in the moment. To use the fire extinguishers. Excellent. Very good. This one. Go to this one. I'll be back. Hi. Hello, teacher. You finish over here? Yes, teacher. Ready? Yes, I think. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, let me go to my Valenas group to see if he finished. Good day. <laughs> Attention, teacher. What's up with the dogs? It's my favorite place. It is place, place signs not to pass a bird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, No. Place not to pass signs. That's better. Places? We place uh, not to pass signs like this. Let me show you. In quotations. Again. <laughs> That one. And treatment. The second one too. assigned all right let's go back to the main session okay right now over there we're gonna show everybody let's go see you soon see you there okay gracias por defender el equipo fatima no, no se lo va a defender Magdaleno. Eh, no, usted es una roca, una super estrella. Ok, you are su a superstar. Ok, you are a rock. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, we are back. Let's start sharing. We're gonna share your activities, okay? It won't take a long time, okay? Antonio, go ahead. Do you have a, a presentation or something? Oh, teacher, I don't have presentation. Okay, but you can mention what you have, don't worry. Okay, this is a, a safety for, for a, in a construction. Okay, it's okay. a construction, construction for a bank. Okay. Okay, the first is always wear a helmet mm -hmm. and rubber boots into the, the constructions. 
-hmm. And number two is keep far away of heavy machinery. And number three, will will a proper cloth depend of the working working area? Okay. And the last one is keep a clean area. Okay, keep a clean area. All right, Antonio, excellent, very good, well done, well done. Uh, let's okay. continue with uh, with another group here with with Pamela. Yes, Pamela. Yes. Okay. Mm, I will share the poster. Mm. Can you see? It? Yes, we can. Why well, can? Okay. Um, uh, far. Safety measures, measures. Measures, fire measures. safety measures. Fire safety measures. Uh, and number one, uh, maintain and do a training to use the fire extinguishers. 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 Uh, two, in the moment, keep calm and follow the recommendations. Three, locate the emergence. Emergency. Emergency exit. Exit, all right. In the second one, recommendations with double M. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you, thank you very much for sharing, Pamela and Hallman, thank you. The last one is Fatima and uh, Magdaleno, please, guys. Your turn. Yes. Hi. The the new safety measure for office hazards is number one, place not to pass signs where the floor is wet. And second one is keep the wire of the equipment in order. And third is save tools and materials in the sign sign places. All right, all right. It's okay, it's okay. Very good, very good. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay. Now, people, we have we have finished. We don't have more time. I just want to thank you guys for your time and for joining the class. And uh, well, a quick reminder about the survey again. Uh, I'm sorry that I keep telling you about that. It's because it's very important. And uh, remember, if you don't get the link or the email tomorrow, please let me know, okay? Or you might get it on Friday, but I don't think Friday will happen because it's the last day. So you will definitely get into get it tomorrow. Okay. Don't do the survey. We will do it on Friday all together. Okay. Yes. And another thing about the platform, you have to continue working on the platform. Okay. If you haven't finished, just go on and work on it. Yes. Because it has to be done by Friday. Let me take attendance and after that, we will be free to go. Let me load this again. Okay, let me update the attendance list. Adriana Maria Turcios, I think she's not longer here. Okay, she's not. Okay, let me continue here. Carlos Abre. Uh, Sorry, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol was not here today. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Yes. Christopher Spidia Chipago was not here today. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Yes. 
Gabriel Beltran Perez. Hector was not here. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present, Mr. Yes, Ivan Ivan Petrovich Guzman. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Holman. And yesterday, uh, me pasó listo. I'm sorry? Uh, yesterday, me, me pasó listo, teacher. Yes, why? Entre tarde la reunión y de último no escuché que me mencionaron. No, it's okay. It, it, that's, that's, that's fine, that's fine. The thing is that uh, if you get in the class late, the time is going to start from there. For example, if you get in the class at 9 p.m., the record or your record is going to show only 60 minutes, not the whole class. Okay, okay. So, so oh, yeah. Have Yes. But you were here. It's just here that you were in the class for 81, 81 minutes. So don't worry. <laughs> okay. Laura was not here. All right. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos Hernandez Cruz was not here today and Rosalina Alvarado was here for a couple of minutes and then she left. Okay, yes. Now, thank you Ivan for being here and Oscar, thank you for letting me know. Yes. Okay, people, it's time. If you don't have, if you don't have any questions or, or complications or confusion, we are free to go. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. All right, people. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye, good tomorrow. night. Good night. Good night. Hi, do you have questions? I'm trying to get out. <laughs> we log out. Log out. So, yeah. Log get out. out. like you in a place you get out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, yeah. And actually, I'm thinking about the, a classroom. A okay. classroom and a okay. class and get out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. right. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. It was a pleasure, right? Bye. All right, let me reinforce you guys with the with the present perfect in the passive voice. I know it is a little complicated to understand, you know, uh, but let me show it to you. Passive voice with the present perfect. Okay, let me show you down here. This is a structure for a, for a sentence in the active voice, okay? The machine, no, let's say the mechanic repaired the cars, okay, excuse me. The mechanic has repaired the cars. El mecánico ha reparado los carros. This is present perfect in the active voice. Let me put it here, active. Yeah. Over here in the active voice where uh, our emphasis is on the person. The person is the mechanic, okay? So our emphasis or basically in the sentence, in the sentence, uh, most of the emphasis is on the person and not on the rest of the sentence, okay? In the passive voice is the opposite or something like that, okay? In the passive voice, uh, the concentration or our concentration or our emphasis is on the action. 
the cars. Oh, the object, the object is cars, as you see. Okay, the object is cars. One thing that you, not, you need to know about passive voice is that the object of the active sentence becomes the subject in the passive sentence. So the cars is the objects, but in the active, excuse me, in the passive voice sentence, we're going to use the cars as the subject. This subject, I mean, our emphasis is not on the subject. Our emphasis is on the action. The action is repaired. Okay, excuse me. The cars have been repaired. Okay, los carros han sido reparados. Okay, our emphasis in this sentence, we have the subject, the subject is cars. Okay, have been repaired is the action, the action. And that is where our emphasis is. Our emphasis is not on the cars. Our emphasis is on the repairing, okay, on the repairing. Let's take a look at another situation. Another situation. The secretary has has done. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Has written. The reports, the monthly reports. La secretaria ha escrito los reportes mensuales. Okay. That is the active sentence. Our emphasis is in the person. The person is the secretary. So what you have here, the most important thing in the active sentence is the secretary or the person. In the active sent the passive, sorry, in the passive sentence, our emphasis or the importance is on the action. Look, the monthly reports have been written, okay? Los reportes mensuales han sido escritos. We're emphasizing on the action, han sido escritos. The monthly report is the subject part. Our emphasis is not there. So basically, we use passive voice to emphasize the action and not the person. Okay. We can say, or we could say, by the secretary. Okay. By the secretary. But that's optional. All right. Guys, well, uh, continue practicing. Practice makes perfection. And uh, never give up, keep practicing whatever you're at, try to do your best, okay? Yes, I will see you guys soon, take care, have a good night, sleep well, and yes, peace.